Hi, and welcome to this Joomla tutorial. Today, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to manage a blog using the Joomla content management system. If you are unfamiliar with Joomla, please feel free to browse my YouTube channel or other channels to familiarize yourself with the Joomla platform. This tutorial has been specifically produced for a company called Sellers Tile, which you can find at www.sellerstile.com, but it may still apply to your site depending on how your site was developed. As part of this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add, edit, publish, unpublish, and sort your blog articles. If you're new to Joomla, this tutorial is going to give you a basic working knowledge of the platform and will help you begin learning how this very popular and powerful content management system work. Now let's get started. First we're going to log in to our backend. I'm just going to open up a new browser here and I'm going to go to the administrator site for sellerstyle.com. You can access your Joomla backend by going to www.yourname.com slash administrator. As you see here, we have gone to www.sellerstyle.com slash administrator. Now I'm going to log in as the manager. And now we are in the backend administrator for our Sellers Tile, Tile website. Now that we are logged in, we are presented with the control panel for our Sellers Tile website. We're going to go ahead and start by familiarizing ourselves with the article manager. So under management, we're going to select articles. We can also access the articles management by going up here to the top and selecting articles manager, or we can come to the bottom and select articles, and that will take you to our article manager as well. As I click on articles, you'll see that we have several articles already set up for this website. If we go back over to the front end and we click on blog, you'll notice that we have two blog entries that we have created just as a demo. If we go back to our back end, you'll notice under section that we actually have these articles published under the blog. Now a quick and easy way to sort your articles is by coming up here to select section and we're just going to select blog. Now the developer of this website has separated their actual web pages from their blog by calling them simply web pages versus blog. So if we select blog, only our blog entries are going to be shown. You'll notice here that we have welcome to the site and another blog post. If we jump back over to our live site, these are the exact same titles as shown on the live side, which are also linkable. If you click on them, you're taken to the full article. If we go back and we click read more, you're also taken to the full article. And I'm going to show you how to do that momentarily. We're going to jump back over to our back end. Now that you're familiar with the article manager, we're going to go ahead and create a new article. I'm going to jump back to the control panel homepage to show you a couple different ways that you can create a new article. We can simply under create new click article and you'll be taken immediately to the create new article page where we can fill out the title, give it a section, and then provide our information. I'm going to hit cancel just so I can go back to the home page. Now when using the Joomla platform you never want to use the back, your browser's back button. It can cause file issues. So just try to always hit cancel and go back. If you do occasionally hit the back button, it's no big deal, but try to get yourself out of the habit of doing so whenever you're actually in the Joomla platform. Now we can also create a new article by coming down here to the bottom where it says new article, or we can come up to the top, wait for the drop down, and click new article. We're going to go ahead and click new article, and we're just going to give it a generic title. Now here's the key to actually getting it in our blog. We're going to select the section blog. The category is going to be automatically populated for you, and for this particular website we just have general. Now you can have unlimited categories underneath your section, so your category may have, if you are a food writer, maybe it has restaurants, good wine to drink with your meal, where to buy good produce, etc. For this particular website at the current moment, they only have one category general, so it's already selected. Now we're just going to give it a little bit of dummy text, which is actually called Lorem Ipsum. And I've simply copied it from a website called Lipsum.com, and I've pasted it in using the Control V command. You can also right click and click paste as well. Now since it's a blog, we do not want all three paragraphs showing up on our actual live blog site. As you'll notice here, we only have the first couple sentences, and then we're able to click read more to see the full article. We're going to do the same by positioning our mouse cursor, let's just say right in the middle of the first paragraph, and we're going to come down to the bottom and click read more. You'll notice a red line appears, and that red line is going to indicate that after this last sentence, even though the paragraph continues, you're going to have to click the read more link to finish reading the document. 
So with our text in place, we're going to go ahead and click Save. We're going to get the notice that the article was successfully saved. We're going to jump back over to our live site. We're going to click Refresh or F5. And you'll notice that the blog post has been made. Now you'll notice that this post does not have the same formatting as the others. And I'll show you why. Now for the seller's tile site, the way the developer has set up the website, we're going to need to do a couple more things to make this blog post look like the others. So we're going to jump back over to our backend administrator. We're going to click on generic title, which is the article that we just created. And we're going to set the article parameters, which are over here on the right hand side. We're going to click on parameters in parentheses advanced, and it's going to expand, and we're going to have a couple different options. This is essential for this blog, and we need to change the title to yes, title linkable to yes, the author name to show, and the created date and time to show. The rest we can leave is use global. So once again, we're going to select yes for show title, yes for title linkable, author name to show, create date, date and time to show. And we're going to click apply. The difference between save and apply, if you're not familiar with the Joomla platform, save would take us back to the article manager, whereas apply leaves the article open so that we can come back and edit it if needed. If we come back over to our live side, we click refresh, you'll notice that this blog post now has the same formatting as the others. And if we click on the read more link, the full article is shown. Now we're going to come back over and as I'm looking at the blog post I notice there's a little extra space here so I'm actually going to show you how to edit this article I'm just going to close and go back to the home page to show you how to get back to the article manager quickly and edit this article very quickly as well we're going to go to manage articles click generic title and now this article is ready to edit I'm going to click on this blank space I'm going to hit backspace or delete and it's going to remove that extra line break. Now let's just say we want to take out the entire second paragraph. We're going to remove that. I'm going to once again delete the extra line break and I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click back to get back to the blog's main page. I'm going to click read more and you'll notice that that second paragraph as well as this line break has been removed. So I've just shown you how to create a new article and edit the article as well. Now if we go back to the blog's main page you'll see that generic title is first another blog post is second and welcome to the site is third if we go back to our Joomla administrative backend and we go to our article manager which is still still set to show us only the blog entries you'll see that the same order is here one for generic title two for another blog post and three welcome to the site well let's just say that I want welcome to the site to still be our number one article there's two ways I can do this. I can simply hit the green arrow button up. It's going to move it to the second position. And I'll hit it again to move it to the first position. And you'll see that it automatically saves and reorders your entries. If we go back over to our live site, click refresh, our blog entries are resorted just the way that we have told it to. Now the second way to do this, let's just say we want generic title to be the third and another blog post to be the second. I would change the numerical values in the boxes, and this is handy when you have a lot of articles that you need to reorder, so that you don't have to tediously do it one by one. And we're going to click this Save button to save the order. We're going to go back over to our live site, click Refresh, and our blog has been reordered once more. Now let's just say we want to go ahead and remove this another blog post completely, but we only want to temporarily remove it. We're just going to come into our article manager and we're going to simply click the publish button. There's a checkbox there. It'll save it. And you'll notice that there's now an X next to another blog post. If we jump back over to our front end, click refresh, that article is now gone. Now let's just say we want it back in. We just simply come back in and we click the X. It changes to a green check mark and it's back on our website. If you need to do two or more, it's easy to put check boxes in each box and click on publish. And you can do this for one item as well. You'll see that the two articles have successfully been unpublished. We click ref refresh and welcome to the site is the only article that is now on our blog. 
In the same manner, we can come back into our article manager, put a chat box in both boxes, click publish, click refresh on our front end, and those two blog entries are back on our site. Now, if we wanted to permanently delete them, we would simply put a checkbox there and move to the trash can. If you're a Windows user, it's just like sending it to the recycling bin. The article has been removed. And if we go back to our front end, click refresh. We only have two articles there. For this particular website, I'm going to go ahead and remove another blog post. I'm going to send that to the trash can as well. Go back to the front end, and you'll notice that Welcome to the Site is the only article that we now have available in our blog. Now, the cool thing about Joomla is just like Windows, it saves our articles in a recycling bin just in case we accidentally deleted it or we decide we need it at a future date. Come into Articles at the top of our screen, click Article Trash, and you'll notice that the two articles that we just sent to the trash bin are, are in our trash manager. We can put check boxes in there. Or we could click this checkbox in the title bar to select all the articles if we needed to. And we simply click Restore. Click Restore again. Yes, we are sure that we want to restore them. The items have been successfully restored. We go back into our Article Manager. Sort by Blog. And articles are back in there. We're going to change their orders. Click Save. And we're also going to republish them. Refresh, and our articles are back up and going. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete both of these articles because they obviously are for this tutorial only. So we're going to send them to the trash can, and we're going to forget about them. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. I hope it's been very informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at Wes, W-E-S, at Splice, S-P as in Paul, L-I-C-E, the number 5, dot com. That is Wes at Splice 5, dot com. Or you can consult our friends over at Google. And Joomla also has built-in help and documentations, which if we go back to our control panel, you'll see down here. Thanks again for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and log out. Good luck with all of your endeavors, and I hope that this tutorial has helped you to unlock a small piece of what the Juma platform has to offer.